Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about organophosphate poisoning. So as everyone knows that organophosphate increases acetylcholine in our body by uh, blocking acetylcholine esterase in different ways. So as, as acetylcholine increases in our body, it will precipitate uh, parasympathetic symptoms. So it will increase uh, diarrhea and bo- bodily f- fluid excretion will be increased. So this thing is very common knowledge. So in Davidson, there are more about organophosphate poisoning. And basically, organophosphate poisoning has three stages. The first stage is acute cholinergic syndrome. And the second stage is intermediate syndrome. And the third one is, or third phase we can say is organophosphate induced delayed polyneuropathy so as this UPSC CMS topic and the question is evolving there is high chance that this year or in upcoming exams they can ask these questions so let's start the first stage is acute cholinergic syndrome so as you can see it starts rapidly after exposure to cholinergic agents and symptoms include vomiting, diarrhea, respiratory compromise, excessive sweating and meiosis and muscular fasciculation. These are the symptoms of acute cholinergic syndrome. So, and also flaccid paralysis may develop also affecting respiratory and ocular muscles. So, this will be key word. They can ask like giving after this uh, symptoms uh, there is a chance that they can ask even from which syndrome uh, is the patient is having so and the duration you have to remember it is 48 to 72 hours so also there is a statement in Davidson who given us that that with some lipid soluble agents can cause prolonged effects so it can prolong acute cholinergic syndrome so it is some lipid soluble agents so usually it is maintained by intensive cardiac respiratory support and monitoring are often required. So next syndrome is intermediate syndrome. So it develops after one to four days after exposure after the solution of acute cholinergic syndrome. So this is the statement given in Davidson. So here the symptoms are muscle weakness rapidly spreading from ocular muscle to head, neck, proximal limb and respiratory muscle please be careful it is given that muscle weakness rapidly spreads from ocular muscle to head neck proximal limb and respiratory muscle so be careful with this statement also ventilatory failure may occur also duration is two to three weeks for intermediate syndrome so for uh, acute cholinergic syndrome the duration was 48 to 72 hours and here the duration is two to three weeks and management is supportive care and the next or the final syndrome is uh, organophosphate induced delayed polyneuropathy so this is the thing happening after two to three week, weeks after acu- uh, exposure to acute organophosphate so this uh, mainly affect long myelinated neurons and it has both mixed sensory and motor polyneuropathy also the symptoms are paresthesia muscle cramps and numbness also flaccid paralysis develops in lower limbs and progress to upper limbs with additional symptoms like foot wrist drop and high stepping gait high stepping gait so this can be asked also flaccid paralysis progress to upper limb so this can be also asked so sensory loss may present is written here this is directly taken from Davidson so you can remember like this also there is return reduced or loss tendon reflexes initially with possible later development of mild spasticity this can be a good question too here also there is no uh, specific treatment available physiotherapy for muscle vis- uh, wasting is recommended also for uh, recovery 
is often incomplete you have to be careful with this statement physio recovery is often incomplete for organophosphate induced delayed polymerase also improvement is takes at least 1 to 2 years and it is especially in young patients so as in only in young patients potential improvement after 1 to 2 years can be seen so thank you